Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Movie Melee. We're back in the uh, Summer Series Tournament in Round 3. We got an exciting matchup today. We got the number 9 seed, Igor Kosick. Arguably, I think, well, I think most people would agree at this point, probably the front runner for Rookie of the Year uh, in 2023. Going up against the number 16 seed, Robert Kastner, is having a hell of a comeback season so far. Just hasn't lost a single match. Been playing absolutely lights out. And joining me on the desk today, I'm Dylan Bathine, by the way. Joining me on the desk today is uh, one Jack Pinchuk for, I believe, the first time. This is the first time we're hosting something together. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing quite well. It's very early, but, you know, uh, that's okay. Uh, it's I'm very excited for this matchup. Uh, Igor having an incredible debut season. Kastner having a great season as well. Uh, I, I'm very excited to see what happens here. Yeah, absolutely. So let's get right into it, starting with the pre-match interviews, starting with Robert Kastner and his manager, Tony Durso. Uh, Robert, you're, you've been playing lights out so far in this tournament so far. Just absolutely, you I forgot to mention, you got here based on uh, a massive upset where you beat uh, Payson Johnson, the number one seed at the tournament, in a quite dominant performance. Like, it was a very convincing victory. Uh, so how are you feeling about your opponent today in Igor? I was feeling great, and then you said I hadn't lost yet this year, and then I felt like crap. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, the wheel's been very nice to me. Uh, I had a, it, the wheel was not nice to me in 22, so it's nice that the wheel came back around. Uh, it's very nice to me now. Um, it's all gravy at this point because the next law, I'm still over 500. That's what I wanted. Uh, I didn't think it was possible <laughs> having to beat Basin, but like I said, the, uh, it's been very lucky for me. Uh, it's all gravy from here. Uh, it's been a really crappy trivia week. Uh, so it's either it will end on a on a footnote bong crap or it'll end on a high note, which either way is fine. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, while Payson's an excellent player, obviously his record shows. I think uh, I think a lot of people sleep on Robert, and he is a he is a championship caliber player in melee as well as in fandom. So. Uh, it's not surprising. I don't see it as 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 much an upset what happened with Payson as other people do. But uh, I think, I mean, Robert shown shown he's an excellent player, and I think he's going to continue that. So, Dylan, Jack, my my heart is full. That's why you have managers like Tony because <laughs> it just lifts you up to win. That's fair. All right. Well, thank you, Tony. We'll put you backstage for now. We will bring in Robert's opponent for this evening. Uh, one Igor Kosick and his manager, Cameron Holtzman. Once I can find it, there he is. All right. Igor, you've had a hell of a season so far up to this point, making it into the 4-0 and club, which is a very prestigious club. Uh, and, yeah, you've just been basically kicking ass so far this season. How do you feel uh, about your opponent today in Robert Kastner? Uh, no, uh, as far as the 4-0 and season goes, very unexpected. I didn't think I'd make it uh, that far without taking an L. And uh, today is uh, a little nerve-wracking. Robert's coming off that win over Payson, as we talked about, which is a little frightening, given that I've seen Payson play. So, hey, I'm coming into this, have fun, and uh, do my best. And hopefully, maybe the O will continue. But if not, hey, I'll, I'll uh, give up my O to uh, Robert here. <laughs> Yeah, Igor has played. I don't like the implications of the phrasing that uh, <laughs> Igor has played an insane season this year, uh, coming in as a rookie that no one except for me knew, uh, <laughs> and seeing what he's been able to do, uh, both in this tournament, in fandom, just in the matches leading up to it. Uh, he has played very impressive, and yeah, this is either going to be a continuation of that or he's already proven. <laughs> so, either way, we're good. Um, yeah, we got this, I hope. Have some fun. Right. Well, thank you for that, Holzman. We'll put you backstage for now, and we'll get this started with round number one, uh, which will go like this. It will get eight questions in eight different categories of movie trivia, which they will answer individually in 15 seconds on their whiteboard. Uh, please keep your hands on screen at all times. Each player has three repeats and one challenge to use for the remainder of the match. If you get all eight questions right in round number one, you get a bonus question. So good luck on that. Uh, anyways, we'll get this started uh, with your first question around number one, which will come in the category of horror. Ben is what kind of animal in Ben? How are you doing today, Jack? I already asked you that, but oh no, that's a it's a good question. Uh, I'm doing well. I woke up probably 20 minutes ago, and huh. I 
haven't had a chance to fuck up my day yet. Two, one. Pens down, we will go to Igor first. Not sure. A bear? And uh, Robert? Oh, that probably makes more sense. I said a rat. A rat is correct. Oh. Hey. So Robert gets the early lead 1-0. All right, and with that, we will be getting into your second question of the round, which comes in the category of scores and soundtracks. Your question is, what is the name of the hit song that Ellie Goulding recorded for Fifty Shades of Grey? So completely unrelated to this question, but just so I could get to know you better, uh, who's your main in Super Smash Bros? Ooh, uh, that's an excellent question. I, I haven't played Super Smash Bros. in a while. Five. Last time I did, it was Brawl, and I... Three was Marth. Two, I can't remember. One. It's been a while. It's fair. All right, so we will go to Robert. I'm a I'm a Roy guy myself. I don't know. I said Firelight. And Igor? Love me like you do. Love me like you do is correct. So Igor ties up the game there as we get into our third question, which comes in the category of comedy. Who plays the titular character in Dudley Do Right? Sounds like a hilarious movie. Yes, it does. Would you believe me if I told you I haven't seen it? <laughs> Five. I would believe you. Four. Three. Yeah. But have you seen two. the I haven't heard of it. One. Pens down. We will go to Igor. Brendan Fraser. And Robert? Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser is correct. Both staying tied. And we'll get into your next question, which comes in the category of recent releases. The question, what kind of event is Briggs driving Lulu to in Dog? Yeah, I'm more of a Mr. Game & Watch guy myself. There's not a lot of us out here, but in terms of... You know what? It's fair. Underrated character. That's true. Absolutely. Shout out MGW. Five, four, three, two, one... Pens down, we will go to Robert. Uh, I said a dog race. And Igor? No idea. Art show. Uh, both incorrect. We were looking for a funeral. Ow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. So your next question will come in the category of directors. Who directed Singing in the Rain alongside Gene Kelly? There was a time where this is my favorite movie ever. And That's now, I'm a cold-hearted bastard who hates musicals. Yeah. This movie is still good, though. That's right. Uh, knowing Cameron uh, Holzman will do that to you. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, pens down, Igor. And we will go to Robert. I didn't have anything. And Igor? Fred Astaire. <laughs> uh, both incorrect. We were looking for Stanley Donan. Um, with that, we'll get into your next question of the round, which comes in the category of sci-fi fantasy. Your question is, what industry is John working in before he finds the sunglasses in They Live? Now, I've, I've heard uh, many people say Singing in the Rain is one of the greatest musicals of all time, but that's some, it's a movie that I've just never seen, but we'll be seeing hopefully in the next couple of days. Oh, it's great. Five, four, three, two, one, pens down. We will go to, I forget, Robert. Uh, I said restaurant. And uh, Igor? No idea. Military. Uh, both incorrect. We were looking for construction. Okay. So then your penultimate question in round number one will come in the category of romance. What college do Monica and Quincy attend in love and basketball? Are you more of a love or basketball guy? Oh, man. You know, I want to say neither, but I'm not really much of a basketball guy. So I'll just say love by default. That's fair. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Igor. UCLA. And Robert? The other one. USC. Uh, he wasn't confident, but USC is correct. <laughs> All right. So then Robert takes the lead three to two as we get into our last question. Jack? 
All right, and your last question of the round is going to come in the category of Oscars. Your question is, who won the award for Best Supporting Actor for films released in 1978? What were you up to in 1978? You know, I was not even thought of yet. That's fair. Mostly because both my parents were only a year old. That's fair. Those are the good old days for me. Five, four, three. While Caleb Two, Bowman was assassinating one. presidents. Pens down. We will go to Robert. I think I just heard the question wrong. Richard Dreyfus. And Igor. Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken is correct. So we come out around number one tied three to three. Is that what you have, Jack? That is indeed what I have. All right, then we will get into round number two, which will work like this. Each competitor will get a chance to spin at the wheel. Because by the way, this is called the wheel round. Uh, and Basically, each question will be worth two points unless they check down a multiple choice, in which case it'll be worth one point. If they don't like the category they spin the first time, they can spin again, but they will uh, be forced to keep whatever category they land on the second time. The categories on the wheel today are directed by Guy Ritchie and action slash adventure, which are Igor's strengths, as well as fandom James Bond and sports, which are, which are Robert's strengths, as well as the general categories of sci-fi fantasy, horror, westerns, and family. So, Igor, since we are tied and you are the higher-ranked competitor, I'll bring your manager in. Would you like to spin first or defer to Robert? We want to go second, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We will defer to Robert. All right. Put the Holtzman back. Bring in Tony. All right, Robert, this will be your first spin at the wheel. Get around, Robert. We're all right. Land on the category of action-adventure. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Hmm. That's a mid, and it's his general strength so yeah i mean we, we talk i mean this we is can, a good wheel for you yeah so i don't think spinning again is a bad idea and maybe get something you a like little but, bit, a little bit better yeah i mean wh how, how are you feeling i'm feeling you know i just have the the gross uh uh fear of getting the the thing i don't want <laughs> at the respin but yeah i mean maybe, it, the odds would say we should probably spin again. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what I think. So Okay, let's spin again and let fate decide. Yeah. All right, so in this You're will be the category that you'll be, that you'll be stuck with for this evening. You'll land on his other strength category of directed by Guy Ritchie. Okay. All right, you have multiple choice. Just yeah. uh, think it through. You, you'll be fine. It. We'll see what happens. All right. Thank you, Tony. We'll put you backstage. And uh, I will read your questions, Robert, in the category of directed by Guy Ritchie. Are you ready? Sure. All right. So your first question. In Revolver, Jake Green was sentenced to how many years in prison? Five years. That is incorrect. So Igor for the two-point steal. Seven years? That is correct for two points. So your next question, Robert. Who plays debt collector Big Chris in Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels? Vinny Jones. That is correct for two points. Okay. Your next question. In Swept Away... One night when Amber and Giuseppe are drinking on the island, they start playing what party game? Multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, beer pong, B, Pictionary, C, Truth or Dare, or D, Charades. Truth or Dare? Uh, that is incorrect. So, uh, Igor, for the one-point steal, is it A, beer pong, B, Pictionary, C, Truth or Dare, or D, charades? Charades? That is correct for the one-point steal. So your penultimate question, Robert. In The Gentleman, what is the name of the group of young fighters that steal from one of Mickey's weed farms? Multiple, please. All right. Your options are A, the Toddlers, B, the Young Guns, C, the Naughty Boys, or D, the Street Kings. Toddlers. 
That is correct for one point. So your final question in this category. In Wrath of Man, what is the first organ eight shoots Jan in retaliation for killing his son? The heart? That is incorrect. So Igor for the two-point steal. Spleen? That is also incorrect. We're looking for the liver. Liver, yeah. It's one of the four. All right, so after that, I have it all tied up at six coming out of Robert's round. Is that what you have, Jack? Uh, yes, that is what I have. All right, so then we'll bring back the wheel and Cameron Holtzman. And Igor, this will be your first spin at the wheel. And you land on the category of Robert's strength of fandom James Bond. I know it's fandom and you like fandom, but I mm. think taking his strength is a risk that we really don't need to take in the position. I agree. There's a few things I probably want worse than it, but yeah, I feel like the steals are there Yeah, for we're, we're tied going into your spin. Let's not take the risk on doing something crazy. At the same time, I could maneuver multiple choice on this and still probably let's get not, it let's more not than even something else. Alright, I'll, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I'll spin again. Alright, so then this will be the category that you are saddled with. You land on Fandom James Bond. You go, let's Didn't try matter. to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Cameron. We'll put you backstage. And Jack, would you like to read uh, Igor his questions in Fandom James Bond? Sure. All right, Igor, are you ready for your questions in Fandom James Bond? Let's do it. All right. Your first question. In what Fandom James Bond film do we see an assassin blow themselves up in a hot air balloon? Multiple choice. All right. Your multiple choice options are A, Skyfall, B, A View to a Kill, C, The World is Not Enough, or D, You Only Live Twice. You Only Live Twice. That is unfortunately incorrect. As uh, Robert, you have a chance for one point steal. Your options are A, Skyfall, B, A View to a Kill, C, The World is Not Enough, where D, you only live twice. This movie keeps coming up. Fandom here keeps coming up. The world is not enough. That is correct for one point steal. <laughs> All right, Igor, now for your second question in Fandom James Bond. In from Russia, uh, start over. In from Russia with love, what is the name of the agent Grant poses as to Bond? Nash. That is correct for two points. And your third question. In Moonraker, Bond discovered that Drax hid his safe underneath what object in his office? Multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options are A, clock, B, file cabinet, C, sculpture, or D, fireplace. Five, four, three. Repeat the options. All right, your multiple choice options once again are A, clock, B, file cabinet. C, sculpture, or D, fireplace? Sculpture? That is unfortunately incorrect. Uh, Robert, the chance for one point steal is it A, clock, B, file cabinet, C, sculpture, or D, fireplace? I'm going to say clock. That is correct for a one-point steal. Tie game. Uh, your penultimate question in Fandom James Bond. In Casino Royale, where specifically does Bond find Vesper in her hotel room after they kill Obano? In 
in the shower. That is correct for two points. And your final question in fandom James Bond. Uh, in the Living Daylights, who plays General L Leonid Pushkin? John Reese Davies. That is correct for two points. The end All of right. round number two, I have the score of 12 to 8. Is that what you have? That is what I have, yep. So then we will get into round number three, which will work like this. It is the pick your poison round. Each competitor will get the chance to pick what they want for their one, two, three, and four point questions in the, uh, the list of categories provided. Uh, the categories that they can pick from today are Ridley Scott, sports, recent releases, Emma Stone, music, sci-fi fantasy, 1970s, and war. So you'll let them pick their categories right now, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. The competitors have picked their categories. We will now start with Robert since he is down, and we will go until he sends it back over to Igor. Jack? All right, Robert, your one-point question comes in the category of Ridley Scott. Yeah. The question is, who plays Emperor Marcus Aurelius in Gladiator? Richard Harris. That is correct for one point. Uh, you're, and since you're still behind, we will be going to your two-pointer, uh, which is in sci-fi fantasy. Let me just mm. find that quick. Your two-pointer in sci-fi fantasy. What comedian voiced Dot Matrix in Spaceballs? It's my virgin alarm. It's set to go off before you do, John Rivers. That is correct. Two points. And we will be sticking with you for your three-pointer in Emma Stone. Yeah. Which is there. Awesome. All right, your three-pointer. In Battle of the Sexes, Billie Jean King has an affair with a woman that has what profession? Yikes. Reporter. It's unfortunately incorrect. The correct answer was hairdresser or hairstylist. Gotcha. Okay. And so with that, we will be sticking with you for your four-point question in the category of sports. Mm -hmm. Your question. And if Robert hits this, he will send it back over to Igor. If he misses, then Igor will, will win by technical knockout. Yes. All right. Your four-point your four question in the category of sports. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the college that the governor wants Jake to convince Jesus to attend in He Got Game? Five, four, three, two. Repeat. All right, that is your first repeat. All right, your four-point question again. What is the name of the college that the governor wants Jake to convince Jesus to attend in He Got Game? Repeat. One. All right. Uh, what is the name of the college that the governor wants Jake to convince Jesus to attend in He Got Game? Five. Four. I'll just use the last one. Two, one. Repeat. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, your question once again. What is the name of the college that the governor wants Jake to convince Jesus to attend in He Got Game? Man. <clears throat> what? I just, I did not play uh, as I wanted to in this game, unfortunately. Uh, so, Igor, congrats. Um, just say, um, to Brooklyn College. 
And your winner, by way of technical knockout, Igor Kosick. The correct answer we were looking for was Big State. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll put uh, Igor backstage for now, and we will get to post-match interviews, starting with our unfortunate second-place finisher today, Robert Kastner. Uh, you know, it didn't go your way today. Uh, I think maybe luck was not on your side on that wheel spin there. Uh, but I think that no, nothing can really under, understate. No one can really understate really just how great of a season that you've had, you know, uh, or overstate or whatever. You've had a great season so far is what yeah. I'm saying. Uh, you've had a hell of a run in this tournament. And I mean, I think making it this far, taking out the one, one number one seed in the tournament is definitely something to be proud of. Uh, so thoughts overall on the match today. I just didn't play smart today. I left so many points on the board. I could have had, if I would have, I realized with two seconds left at the end question in round one that you said, yeah, I came out in 78, not 78 ceremony. And I knew it was Christopher Walken. If I just used a repeat, I would have got that. We would have had the lead. Uh, and then we would have switched off. I would have done better in bond. Uh, and then the Ridley, uh, man, the, uh, the guy, Richie questions. I, I knew seven and I, I just, I should have thought about it more. I should use a repeat there. The multiple choice one and swept away as between the two. Um, and then that wrath of man question, the last part is named after four parts that he shoots the guy for. And it, it's heart. Heart is the first one. So, I haven't watched Wrath of Man. I thought about it. Maybe I should have. Uh, and then, and then because I didn't have the lead, I didn't get to go how I wanted to in the categories, and they bit me a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was bad trivia week for me. It was, it's great year. It's good year for melee, but it was bad trivia week for me, and it just sort of bookended on this. So I'm a little bummed, but that's fine. Yeah, I think the you know. Obviously, round, a better spin in round two would have been great. I mean, if he had kept action adventure, that would have left Guy Ritchie for it's true. E Igor. So, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like you're kind of da damned if you do, damned if you don't Yep. kind of thing. Uh, so, round two, it just didn't seem like the wheel was going to be Robert's friend today. But Robert's great. He plays... Like I said before, he's like melee is his quote secondary league, and he's still freaking awesome at it. So, uh, Robert's gonna come back from this, and he's gonna kick some more ass because Robert kicks ass. I mean, it's just the way it goes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, regardless of how it went, may have went today. I mean, this is it is worth stating that this is your first loss in over a year in singles, which is very impressive. Uh, and I think you've proven on your run that you're one of the top guys in this division. So uh, when you do come back, you have a solid record. Uh, who would you like to face? Uh, do, do, do. Hmm. Who is around where I am at? I'm trying to think of people who are ranked a little bit higher than me. Um, I don't know. I'm, who was like the 10 seed in the tournament? Do you know? That was Will. Yeah. Oh, then I don't want to do that. Uh, who's the 12 seed? I think that was Kaiser. Fuck. Who's the 13 seed? We could keep playing this all day. Yeah. I have no idea. No, I, I don't think it was a fun DMC person. Okay. So go Whoever now. was the 13 seed, that person. Oh, never mind. 13, Kaiser was 13. I think oh. Nazario was 12. Nazario. Oh, there there we you go. go. It's perfect. Fair. Perfect. Well, well, we got there eventually. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, thank you, Robert. Sorry it didn't go your way. We'll put you backstage for now. We'll bring in our winner for this evening, Igor Kosick, and their manager, Cameron Holtzman. Uh, Igor, you know, I said going into this, you were in a rare league of people who went 4-0. and 5-0 and might just be you and one other person, with that being Caleb Boatman, which is uh, pretty pretty intimidating. Uh, so I think, yeah, you've very much distinguished yourself as a top dog in this league as well. And you're running this tournament and like easily rookie of the year so far uh, thoughts and uh, your performance today. Yeah, I thought it was a good match. Uh, first round was a bit, few ups and downs here. I think me and Robert kind of exchanged questions. We each got wrong except for maybe the ones. So it was a close round. Um, second round. Yeah. He spanned both my strengths. So maybe I should have gone first, but <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Uh, you got, yeah, ended up with bond. I think I did okay in bond. Didn't perfect it. Like uh, 
I assume Robert would have, but um, yeah, it was a good match overall and happy to get the TKO, happy to keep moving on and apparently joining a 5-0 and club. So can't say much more than that. Yeah, like like was just said, list of players who have gone 5-0 in movie melee. Caleb Boatman, Igor. That's the whole list. <laughs> um, Igor joining an absolutely insane club, playing uh, a great match, playing not necessarily the highest scoring match, but playing exactly the match he needed to, still getting the TKO off of both getting each other's strengths. Um, yeah, I'm... I could not be happier. That's fair. Well, I think that happiness might uh, subside for a second when I reveal to you who you might be playing in the next round, uh, which I have the unfortunate news of telling you. Uh, So you'll be facing either the winner of the number four seed, your manager, uh, Cameron Holtzman, or the number five seed, David Nishimoto. Uh, Thoughts on either of those matchups? Uh, Tough matchup either way. Uh... Obviously, I know what Cameron can do, so fighting, <laughs> facing him would be a scary uh, proposition. And Nishimoto is a uh, team's champion, so <laughs> nothing I can uh, say about either of those guys except I'll be ready and I'll hope to uh, do my best again and keep on rolling. R- removing myself from it, regardless of what happens, it's going to be a great match. All right, that's fair. Well, thank you, Igor. Congratulations on the match today. We'll put you backstage for now, and we'll close this out. Uh, Jack, you know, I I think they said it in the in the interviews there. I think this was kind of an off night for both competitors, but Igor did what he needed to do to get out the win. He was able to uh, pull more answers out of uh, his opponent's strength than Robert was able to pull out of uh, Igor's strength. So I think that was really the ultimate deciding factor today. Bit of rough luck for Robert in round three. Uh, Thoughts on the match overall? Yeah, no, a uh, hard-fought match. Both players not necessarily playing at the top of their game, but still uh, Igor put put up enough points to to get the TKO. Uh, getting TKO in any case is super impressive. So, uh, yeah, I think it was a, a very uh, well-fought game today. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, thank you all for watching from all of us here at Movie Melee, from Jack, from, from me, Dylan Van Thine, from all of our players, from all of our managers and showrunners. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one. Now I gotta find the dang outro again. There it is. Bye. Goodbye.